What is the good word, sirs and dolls? My name is Frank Alexander, and this is Frax Tech. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up automatic backups on your Windows 7 system. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. All right, the first thing you want to do is click on that Start button. In the search box, go ahead and type the word Backup. The first thing you should see pop up is this Backup and Restore. Let's go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open up the Windows Backup and Restore dialog box. Now, yours may look a little bit differently than mine if you've never had a Windows Backup set up on your computer. Mine, I did have it, and I actually uh, stopped my automatic backups to record this video. So you'll see mine does have some information filled in here that yours may not. But that's okay. The setup is going to be exactly the same. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is click on this Change Settings button. Now when you do this, if you have the user controls turned on on your system, you may see a little dialog box pop up that says, are you sure you want to do this? Make sure you go ahead and click OK. Anytime you see those pop up throughout this process, do go ahead and click OK on them to continue moving forward. I've actually disabled that function on my own system um, just because, frankly, they annoy me. Now, when the Setup Backup dialog box appears, the first thing it's going to show you is a list of all of the drives on your computer, and you'll want to select the one where you want the backup saved. Now, if you are using Windows 7 Professional or higher, you will actually have the option to save your backup on a network drive. This could be a network attached storage drive or a separate computer. That is how I have my backup set up. Um, I have a server in the home, so I use my server to back up to and if you wanted to do that uh, you would just click on this save on network but I'm not going to go through that whole setup right now I can do that in a different video um, if you would like but right now I'm just going to go through a basic setting up the backup um, also after this step everything will be exactly the same whether you're doing it on a local drive or a network drive um, so don't worry about there being any being any differences because of that now, if you don't know which one of your drives you want to save to, what you want to do is just go over to your My Computer, which, if you don't have it on your desktop, is right here in your Start menu. Figure out which one of your drives that you want to save it to. Usually, that's an external drive. Look at the drive letter for that drive, and then go back to your um, backup dialog box and select that drive. Once you've selected it, let's go ahead and hit Next. The next window you'll see is going to ask you, do you want to let Windows choose which files to back up, or do you want to choose the files yourself? Personally, I'm a little bit of a control freak, so I like to say, Ch let me choose, uh, which is what I would recommend. This way you can make sure that everything on your system gets backed up. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit Next. And on this screen, it's going to ask you, okay, what files do you want to back up? Here, my standard solution is select everything. Um, this way, I'm making sure that everything on my system gets backed up. Each of these is the drives that will be in your system, and you may only see one drive here. Um, it will exclude the drive that's being used for the backup, so you should see every drive in your system but that. Make sure you select them all. Up here, you've got actually libraries that are being saved. Um, libraries work a little bit differently than folders um, on your system. So it's going to list out your documents, music, pictures, videos. You just want to make sure if you click this, um, it'll have your username here instead of mine. But if you click that, it'll actually make sure all of these are backed up. All right, after we've selected everything to be backed up, the next thing we want to do is click on this Include a System Image. The system image is actually a way that if your computer becomes corrupted or you get a really bad virus and you just want to completely wipe it out and start all over, it'll actually allow you to reload the computer exactly as it was the day the backup was run. It'll keep all of your settings, it'll keep your desktop icons exactly where they were, all your internet browser favorites, everything will be identical to the way it was. If you don't do this, you can still restore the computer, but you'll actually lose all of your settings. Uh, which is kind of a pain. Also, the system image makes it extremely easy to restore the computer from a backup if you ever have to in the future. Once we've done all that, let's go ahead and hit the Next button. Here it's just going to give us a summary of what all is being backed up. The next thing you'll see here is Schedule. 
Now initially it's probably going to say on demand. Now we do want to make this an automatic backup. On demand means that we actually have to go in and start the backup ourselves whenever we want one, want one run. So let's go ahead and hit change schedule. And then you'll check the dialog or check the box here that says run backup on a schedule. And then you can select daily, weekly, or monthly. For most people, I would recommend doing a weekly backup. Daily is a little bit excessive and can cause your backup drive to fill up really quickly. Weekly works for most people. I personally actually do a monthly backup. And the reason I do that is that this system has a couple of terabytes of information and it's saving on a network location. So the backup is very slow. Actually takes about a day and a half to run. Um, if I were to do a daily, the backups would actually be running into each other and even a weekly for me is a little too frequently so I do a monthly but if you do choose a weekly you'll get to decide what day of the week you want that run you can pick any day that works for you and then you would pick your time of day now personally like I said I set mine for monthly you can choose the day of the month I always do the 15th and then what time I always run mine at 3 a.m. okay the next thing we want to do then once we've selected how often and when we want the backup to run is to go ahead and click OK once we've done that, you can ignore the things down here at the bottom. That's really um, just things telling you the EFS certificates is just if your system is encrypted, a system uh, repair disk might be required to restore a system image. That's just saying you have to have either a system repair disk or a copy of Windows 7 in order to restore from a system image, which if you have a copy of Windows 7 um, or if you know somebody that does, that's really not a big deal. If you don't, though, you will want to create a system image disk, and I can show you how to do that real quickly as well. And then the last thing it says there is only one system image per computer can be kept at the backup location. And all that's saying is just that while your backups, it will keep multiple copies of your files if you make changes to them so that you can revert to earlier versions. Only one system image will be kept. So when you go to do that restore, you're only going to have the most recent system image to restore from if you have to do a full system restore. If you do want to save multiple system restores, what you would need to do is just once your backup runs, go in, select the system uh, restore image, which is actually just one single file, and move it to a different location. And then the next time the backup runs, it'll save a new one. But I really don't see the point in this. As long as I have the most recent one, that always works for me, but everybody's different. So now that we know what all of those are, the next thing we'll do is go save settings and exit. It's going to set up your backup and then should tell you here. Oh, there we go. You'll see your schedule has changed. And if you have not run a backup before, this information will still be blank, except for your next backup. It'll show you when that's set to run. If you haven't run a backup before, I would recommend going ahead and clicking this backup now, and that will actually begin backing up the system. Like I said before, this backup does run in the background, so it will not interfere with anything else that you're doing on the computer. Um, I've even gamed on my computer while my backup's running, and it doesn't seem to slow my system down at all, so that's uh, nothing to worry about go ahead and click that let the backup run that way you know right away you have a, a backup of your system from the time we set this up the next thing I did want to just take a really quick look at is the create system repair disk that's what is going to be necessary if you do need to restore the system from your system image if you don't have a copy of Windows 7 to do that you would just click that and mine's giving me this because I actually don't have an optical drive in my system, so uh, I don't have a CD burner, so I can't record one. But if you do, you can just throw a uh, blank CD or DVD in your optical drive, click on um, your drive to select the letter, hit create disk, and it'll actually burn the disk for you. You don't have to do anything else. All right, well, guys, I thank you very much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button if you like the video. If you dislike the video, do hit the dislike button. If you dislike it, though, please do leave me a comment in the comments down below letting me know why you dislike the video and what I can do better next time. Other than that, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave those in the comments. I do try to check the comments of my videos fairly regularly, and I can respond to you there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is Frank, and this is Fraxtech. Thank you.